And there we go. Mike Babcock fired from the Toronto Maple Leafs. So their uh, AHL coach will take over for now until they find a new coach. I'm not really sure who's available, but Mike Babcock has been fired from the Toronto Maple Leafs. Crazy, crazy stuff. That is something I didn't expect at least this early into the season. Uh, I guess because I, I thought maybe they'd at least wait till the end of the season, then talk to him and then go for it. But can you completely blame him is the real question. But let's take a look at Babcock's stats here uh, in the four four seasons uh, that he was here, the four full seasons that he was here. Um, into his first season, you can't really blame him for it. 29 wins, 42 losses, not a great season. Uh, you know, a below 500 rating. They finished eighth. They did not do well at all. So we'll go back and now we'll look at the last three seasons that uh, he has made the playoffs uh, with 40 wins, 27 losses, 49 wins, 26 losses, and 46 wins and 28 losses. So, you know, great, good records above 500, uh, you know, so good numbers for the Toronto Maple Leafs, especially for a team that hasn't made the playoffs and they were struggling. This guy really proved himself. You know, Babcock really showed how talented he is. Now, coming into this season, 23 games played, 9 losses, 10, uh, sorry, 9 wins, 10 losses and four overtimes uh, for 22 points only, a below 500, um, you know, points. He has, um, you know, they, they're fifth right now. They're struggling. Their goals against also isn't good. The whole thing isn't working for them. Now, can you blame Babcock completely for the fact that this season has not worked out? No, you can't completely blame him. Their new general manager failed to give Babcock a defensive core that he could work with because Babcock and every other successful team when he played uh, when he coached Detroit they had a decent decor and that's what's missing in Toronto it doesn't matter what coach you put in from this point forward you are going to realize that they need defense and it doesn't matter we've always joked around haha no defense never gonna win a cup blah 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 it's really really evident now that they really need defense because without that they will never ever ever make it past the second round. Even if they make it past the first round, they won't make it past the second round. And even if they do that, they're not making it into the Stanley Cup Finals because it takes a whole team and everybody on the team to work. And it takes a defensive core that's willing to just, you know, work and gel together. A lot of teams have that. They have that 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 momentum. They have that, um, you know, chemistry between their D uh, that works really well for them. And the coaching as well, and it's there. And the Toronto Maple Leafs don't have that, and they need to find that. And it was a mistake. They are in cap hell now, and it's going to be a huge, huge problem for them in the next few years. Uh, and and it's going to bite them like it is biting them right now with their terrible record in 23 games. Uh, yes, Babcock's firing is sort of a surprise, but at the same time, the standard at which the Toronto Maple Leafs hold their fan base and their uh, you know their economy and how much they're selling tickets at, they don't want to drop those tickets. They don't want to say, oh, you know come in for cheaper. I mean, che tickets at the uh, Air Canada Centre is very expensive and they want to keep that going and the only way to keep that going is by keeping their team record up and because their team record wasn't fulfilling what they expected they are you know they've lost um a bunch of games they've only won two regulation games in the last 16 games they've really really struggled and that standard of quality for the Toronto Maple Leafs isn't there anymore and they fired Babcock as kind of their scapegoat when it really shouldn't be blamed completely on him he took a team that was really garbage and brought them to the, the playoffs three seasons in a row now, you could look at a lot of, you know, coaches who have been fired over this, and there are lists and lists, but I think the greatest example we could look at of a coach who struggled to find his team's chemistry and get them going is Barry Trotz. He really struggled with Washington, and then finally, on his last, you know, season with them, cracked it, and they went all the way and did it. And was it because of, you know, mismanagement by the team and stuff like that? Yes, it came down to mismanagement uh, up top. It came down to, we have all these great players, but as a team, we're not gelling. And that's the problem with the Toronto Maple Leafs. They have all these great players, but I don't think they're gelling properly right now. So, yes, you could blame Babcock for the bad start to the season, but at the same time, you have to blame the top and then go down from there because Babcock is not at the top. You got to blame their GM, which is Dubas or Duba, or I don't know how to say his name. You gotta blame him because he signed all these guys. They signed big guys, Nylander, Marner, Matthews, big guys. They have Muzzin right now who, uh, I don't know how much longer he has on a contract. They got Tyson Berry who was supposed to fix these problems, but you know, he's only here for a rental. So they don't make the playoffs. He's probably not going to stay here. So there's a lot of questions to be answered. And the final question to answer here today is, will they actually turn this around and make the playoffs? I think they'll come close. That's my opinion. I think they'll come really close to making the playoffs, but they just won't grab a spot to this season. It's a big change for them. Babcock has a very interesting system, very talented coach nonetheless, 
but it's going to be a big change, and I don't think that they're going to make the playoffs. But they'll get close. Um, good luck, Toronto fans. And, uh, you know, if you need to cry, do it in the comments, all right? I'll see you guys later.